Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Farming Simulator 19. It is time for us to move on to a new and different map. This is going to be very different from what we've been doing the last uh, several videos. In fact, we're going to be moving on to a South American map that was actually part of the Farming Simulator 17 DLC. I believe it was the Platinum Edition DLC. And the map has since been moved over by the developers into Farming Simulator 19. The map is called Estancia Labaco. And I'm very excited to get started on this map because I've not spent any time at all on this map other than for about five minutes I spawned into the map, looked around briefly, and saw that it had a few things that I was looking for. It's got some bigger fields, it's got some wider areas to work in, but it also looks like it's got some flatter areas that as we progress and we decide we want to start building some things, we should have the area to do so. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. Now that we're spawned in, you can get your first glimpse at just how beautiful this map really is. Uh, we've got a nice little pond here to the side of the spawn area and where we're located right now, and we'll be taking a look at the map here in just a moment, but basically we are on what would be the starter farm. Now, we're starting on the farm manager mode, which means we don't have any equipment or any land to get us started out, but this is an absolutely beautiful area. Uh, you can see it's got some slight rolling hills to it, uh, some steeper hills in the background around the edges of the map. But if we pull up the map itself, you can see that we're spawned in right here in the area around the home. Uh, you can see where some silos and storage would be uh, along with some other storage for equipment there. But of course, we're not going to have that here at the beginning. They've simply given us uh, a large sum of money and we're going to have to make it work. So if we take a look at the lands that are available for us to purchase, and you can see this beginning area, which includes the house and several areas to place down silos and storage, $552,000, and it also includes field number one. So it's a great way for us to get started. And then, of course, it gives us easy access to some land all around the immediate area that we can expand into. So let's go ahead and purchase this initial property. 552,000, yes please. Okay, so as we come out of the map, you can see we have $697,000 remaining. The next thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to get some uh, equipment. But before we can do that, uh, let's go ahead and, well, there we go. I was gonna see, try to find out exactly what was growing here on the land, but we found out real quick. Field number one has wheat on it. So that tells us what type of combine that we're going to need in order to get started. Uh, I was really mainly wanting to look to make sure it wasn't something like potatoes, sugar beet, any of your root plants, or something like sugar cane, or even uh, cotton that would require a completely different set of equipment. So we're in good shape because it does have wheat. And as I mentioned in our last gameplay video, our very last video of the Valley map, I want to do things a little bit different. On this particular map, I want to spend more time doing field work uh, and less time working with the animals, but we'll just have to see how that goes uh, in the future. But for right now, it looks like we've got some wheat growing. The question is, nope, it's still in the growing state, but it's getting there. Okay, that's certainly not a problem, so we'll come back out. And in fact, it is that field is located straight in front of us over here so we're going to walk over to it just to get an idea of sort of the size of it we can see the map and the size on the map uh, but you can see here we have okay it's not fertilized at all we could actually do that right now because it's still in a growing stage but as we move around we can see the border here between field number one and field number two which has some barley on it, but it appears to be in very early stages of growth. It is 100% fertilized, so that's nice. All right, so there we go. A smaller field. Certainly not small by the dimensions that we've been used to looking at over the last several videos with the valley map. But in terms of this particular map, this is one of the smaller fields. Then you get into one of these huge fields over at 29. That is probably beyond anything we're going to want to work 
going forward. We can also see that there are several places around the map uh, for selling areas. We've got the biogas plant over here, animal dealer, gas station, uh, and both of those are in very close proximity to our starting location. We've got a storage silo all the way down there. That's not going to be useful to us. All right, but we've got these areas. So let's actually come back out. Um, and I want to go see that area. I want to go see what type of... This is one of the very nice, flat, wide open storage areas. You can see we've already got a path around it. And yes, this is a very good area. I can see... Uh, probably putting storage for our vehicles down that way and then as well as running uh, this direction as well. And then we've also got lots of room out in this area, uh, which would be if we were dealing with animals, if that was our focus, then this would be a great location to get started with some animals. But in our case, I'm thinking more about, uh, let's say over here, this is a very wide area. We don't currently own this area, but could it be useful is the real question. Because this is a large area. doesn't have really any trees on it right now. Uh, not exactly a flat area, but not terrible either. Uh, and then you can see field three directly in front of us. Okay, very happy about this. Let's actually go into the storefront. We're going to pick up our uh, harvester first and let's see now we've been using uh, i'm very fond of the massey ferguson activa 7347s very happy with it because uh, it gives us a pretty wide working width uh, but let's see what kind of options we've got here now i wouldn't mind having something along the lines of uh, john deere again because john deere is brand new to the series this year or at least officially so I wouldn't mind this one. So the S790, uh, let's actually come back out and go to the headers real quick. And let's see what we've got from John Deere. All right, that is not what we're looking for. Yes, the S790, that is very nice, 13.7. Uh, meters of working width. And then beyond that, we've got well, actually, 13.7 is the max, it looks like, uh, that I see there without getting into mods. And then 12.5 and so on. So very nice. 13.7 will require the S790. Let's All right, so 390,000. Uh, isn't bad. Then we've got some of these others. I always like the New Holland. Of course, I like Case as well. So I'm not terribly picky. I'm realizing about these things. Uh, I wouldn't mind the tracks. Those are pretty neat. Uh, but I think we're going to go with the John Deere. Let's go ahead and customize that. You can have it in any color you want as long as it's John Deere green. Uh, let's see. Twin wheels. I'm not terribly excited about. Uh, let's go... Let's see, we can get the tracks. Let's go ahead and move this around a little bit. Uh, twin wheels, standard. We can get wide wheels. I'm more inclined to go with the wide wheels, I think, uh, than going with the track. Okay, let's go wide tires. Uh, and, of course, we're going to lease this. We're not going to spend our money uh, entirely on equipment. So we'll go ahead and lease that. And that brings us to our next need which is, let's head back out. We're gonna need a tractor. Uh, but first, we really need to look at the tippers and get an idea of exactly what type of trailer we wanna use. Um, I'm thinking, oh, I need to look at one more thing. What type of capacity do we have in our harvester? I forgot to, 14,100. Okay, very nice capacity there, very nice. Okay, so let's come back in. So we got 14,000. Um, I'm also, I'm pretty fond of this particular trailer. Uh, it's 21,000, which isn't going to be enough to, I mean, it's, it's overkill if we just want uh, to use this for a single load and then go and offload it. 
it's overkill for that. We could get by with something smaller like the farm tech, which is very close uh, to being exactly what we need. Uh, so we could, so it's overkill for that. But then if we look at something like 31,000 uh, liters there, I kind of like this Joskin trailer. That is, that is nice and it's going to be roughly twice of the capacity of our harvester. So let's go ahead with this. And of course, we're going to lease this. Uh, let's take a quick look at these wheels. Michelin. And let's go with the Michelin. Yeah, we can't get the wide tires, which again is simply a, a preference based on the look for me. Not always the most uh, helpful design to use, particularly if you're worried about crop destruction. But um, in our case, it's not going to matter. So 31,000 liters there. Yes, we do want to lease that. And now we need to go get a tractor to make sure we have plenty to pull it. So we could go with something like the 7 Series from John Deere. Uh, I am a huge fan of the Optum Series in uh, Farming Sim 15 and 17 for sure. Uh, but maybe 15 as well. I've used the Optum series quite a bit uh, and had a lot of good luck with it. It has some nice power there, not terribly expensive. Uh, but of course, New Holland is always high on my list. Uh, Massey Ferguson. All right, I'm kind of feeling the love with the Massey Ferguson right now. A little bit more expensive by 10 grand. But by the time we lease it, it's not going to be a huge deal. Fent. Uh, never a bad choice. Okay, now we're getting up a little bit more expensive than I think is really what we need. Of course, most of this is beyond what we actually need, but this is part of the fun of it. So let's go ahead and, and get this Massey Ferguson. So we're going to pick up the, the bigger engine package, 350 horsepower. Uh, let's go, we certainly want wheel weights. They've got wide tires and wheel weights. Twin wheels, of course, we don't need twin wheels. We're going to be perfectly fine without that. Uh, let's see how I like the look of the standard tires. So we got standard tires with wheel weights. All right, I think we're going to go wide tires here, just because. So let's go ahead and lease that. And now we're down to 661,000. So we still got plenty of money left. Plenty of money. And I am very happy about it, quite frankly. Okay, now we're coming back out. Uh, let's go back in. We need to pick up some sort of, we've got to decide what we're going to do for a cedar. Then, of course, we've got fertilizing that we're going to need to do, all that sort of thing. Uh, let's come in under the cedars to begin. Now, if you guys have been with me for a while, you know probably where I'm going here. I'm going over to the horse design simply because uh, it allows us to not have to go in and cultivate each and every time. So big fan of this. And of course, it's also got a very wide working width of nine meters. So let's go ahead and grab that. It's 104,000. We're going to go ahead and lease this as well. I'm going to lease everything for now. Okay. And let's see. Let's go back. Uh, we need to pick up a, a fertilizer. And really, I'm thinking what I want to do here is, is simply use the one we've been using uh, originally on the default map of Ravenport. Uh, yeah, I really don't see any reason not to do that. It doesn't have quite the working width here. And of course, capacity is a non-issue for us since the AI will be taking care of uh, all of that or most all of this because we'll be allowing this process while it is seeding as well. So let's go ahead and grab this one. Well, we might as well go ahead and buy this one. It's only four grand. So we'll go ahead and buy that. And I think we're all set. So now we need to work our way back out. And if we forgot anything, we'll pick it up later on. So let's go ahead and tab over and let's see where we are on the map. Where is the store? Oh, here we are. So it's on this main road. We've got this main road, paved road that runs in the area. 
uh, and runs right by where we want to be. So very nice. So we'll simply take a turn to the right and we'll bring our equipment over. Uh, where is our header? Did I not get the header? I don't see it. I see everything else, so apparently I forgot to get the header. That doesn't sound unlike me at all. All right, so this is not the header we want. We want the one right here. 13.7, let's go ahead and click on that. And again, any color you want, as long as it's John Deere green. Uh, 89,000, we'll go ahead and save our money and just lease this for now. All right, there we go. Now, the problem we got here is that how do we get behind this thing in order to um, actually get lined up? We're going to give this a shot. But, of course, we got this wide pipe sticking out back here. This is not going to be a fun little thing. So we're going to go ahead and push this header out some. And try not to destroy the store in the meantime. Okay, so we need to go to the right. And boy, look at that header. That is huge and I love it. Okay, you can see we've got the AI traffic that is on right now. We're going to try not to destroy any cars on our way back. Uh, that's easier said than done. And I'm loving this scenery. Again, South American flavor on this map. And I really like it. So far, I am really liking this. Again, it's wide a lot of open spaces that uh, are, I think, going to allow us a lot of room to operate. Ooh, that was a very, very close call there. And we still have $647,000 left. Now, normally, uh, we would want the header trailer for this. Uh, okay, this is where it just gets, just gets really bad. Now, come on, people. Y'all got to help me out here. I'm trying to get back to our land, and y'all are making this incredibly difficult for me. Okay, there is one entrance. Of course, that isn't going to work for us. We're going to have to have a much wider entrance. But yeah, I'm going to try to get by without a header trailer at any point, uh, just to keep things simple. So we got to figure out, okay, how are we going to get in here? Can I get in right here? Oh, no, we certainly are not going to get in right there. All right, so we're going to go around by field 14. My decision against the header trailer uh, may be about to come back to haunt me. Okay, we're going to try not to get onto that field, even though it's actually not going to negatively affect it at all. Oh, yeah, yeah, this works. And now that we've got it on the property we are in good shape moving forward because here for too long we'll be hooking up uh, some storage okay so we've got it in the area let's see where we're gonna park this thing right now so that we can head back over and actually uh, I'll tell you what yeah we're gonna be able to to park this thing right up here at the edge of the field So a tank of 14,000. Wow, I'm not sure I've used a tank, uh, a storage tank on a harvester that was quite this big. Which makes it even more fun for me to think about what's going to happen. And look at the size of this pipe, this unloading pipe. That is awesome. All right, here we go. So let's see what we've got. Uh, let's try to go ahead and hook up our fertilizer there we go we'll hook that up and the first thing we're going to need is going to be right here so we'll go ahead we'll pick that up as well and this time we don't have to worry about the working width the AI should be perfectly safe from us this time and we also get to go a little bit faster Okay, but quite a bit of land. In fact, if you look in the bottom left-hand corner, which is what I'm doing quite a bit at this point, 
uh, just trying to familiarize myself. And you can see there's a lot of land that does not have any fields on it. Uh, in fact, over to the right now is going to be the very first field. And let's just go ahead. Let's, let's go down through this way. We don't own this area just yet, but with the amount of money we have left over, uh, we might before too long. Here's our storage area coming up on the right hand side. I uh, would really like to run that that road or pathway all the way around is what I would really like to do. Yep, this is I'm liking this quite a bit right now. So we're going to come over here to the side and for now I'm going to actually drop this guy off. Let's see, right about there. That'll be good for now. Now we need to head back over to the storefront and pick up our final piece of equipment. So I'm not quite sure how I feel about these uh, permanent tracks. Not quite sure about that, but uh, other than that, I am really liking our property so far. So we'll come over, pick up our final piece of equipment, at least final for now, and then we'll be all set for uh, our work to be done today. Still $647,000 left. So really we can take a look at some additional land and see if we want to purchase yet another a field to get us going. All right, I like this storefront. I just wish they would give us a little bit more room to work with, particularly with headers and and combines. But other than that, very nice. I'm liking the clay look of of the dirt. Of course, around here, you know, whenever you see clay, you know that's the kind of thing that if you get it on you, it ain't coming off. It will stain all of your clothes and it will not come off. All right, as we peer over to the right, we've got some nice size fields here. I think they're going to be a lot of fun to work. They're going to take some time to work, uh, with, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make sure that I got some pretty large working width type tools uh, so that we could, uh, we could take care of that field work as quickly as is reasonable. Here we go. Go around this way. Yeah, I'm liking this area that we've got. There's tons of room around here. Uh, it's got a slight roll to it in some of these areas, so I'm not sure how it's going to work when we're building on it, but I think we're going to be in good shape. All right, so we've made it back over here. In fact, let's go ahead and just, for now, I want to keep these things out of the way because when we start building... Uh, I don't want to have to worry about these things being in, the way, being in the way. So let's go ahead and bring back up the map. Let's go to lands and let's see, what is field two? 200,000 to, so 216, 218. What about field 13? 487. Okay, so obviously it is a good size. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and get field number two. Uh, but before we do that, let's make sure of what exactly is growing on field number two. It is barley. Okay. I know we had looked earlier, but I had forgotten. So barley is perfectly fine. Once again, we've got exactly the uh, combine that we need for that. So land, let's go ahead and purchase that. So now we have fields one and two, both in a growing state. Field two was very early on in the growth state basically looks like it's just been planted for the most part. 
All right, now let's actually come down and let's see if we can place a couple of uh, storage buildings. And we're going to place them right over in this area. Okay, let's come into the placeables. And we're going to need a silo. And we're going to need uh, some sheds. And I, I really want to go... I like the look of that one. Uh, I like that that look, but I'm also really a big fan of this six door shed. Uh, let's go ahead and line this one up. Oh, wow, that is huge. That is absolutely monstrous. Okay, and let's see, we've got it pointed the right direction. I think I want to put it right about in here, just on the edge of the grass line. So yeah, that should work out nice. We'll go ahead and put that one down. And I think that looks good. Uh, in fact, I really like that uh, quite a bit. And then we'll have room for maybe maybe a four-door shed over here. Uh, but these six locations will, will do us quite well. Now let's come back into the storefront and let's pick up a silo. Now what I want to do here is I'm going to want to go with the bigger silo, bigger storage amount. And I want to try to leave some room for extensions, which are going to need to be placed uh, fairly close. So let's see how we want to do this. It's a large one. Uh, I don't want to put it here, I don't think. Uh, let's see, what about right over here? This is a nice centralized location uh, for early on. Uh, this is nicely located for fields one, two, and three, as well as a few others. And it's going to give us, I believe, plenty of room. So let's go ahead and spin this one around. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and go this direction. All right, let's turn our camera around. And there's no way I'm going to get this perfectly straight, so we're not going to worry too much about that. Uh, and we're going to try to line our guys up with this roadway right here as much as I can. So let's go ahead and place it um, about right in here. All right, I like that. And then we'll have some room for extensions over here, which we don't need uh, quite yet. But you can see we're going to have uh, quite a bit of room in this area for expansions as they are needed in the future. Uh, let's go ahead and see what else we might need to put down. As I am thinking about this, I know we've got uh, our vehicle shop. We're going to need a water station, probably, um, although not immediately for sure. We've got our lights in here. Um, our fuel tank. We certainly want a fuel tank in here. This is one of those things I might put like right out in here. Uh, I don't want to infringe too much on our room to pull in and out. So if I put this like right over here, I think that's going to be perfect. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll put it right there. You notice it barely even touched the terrain there. Really like that. We're down to 194,000. But if we could, I would actually like to go ahead and put our workshop in here. But I want to see how this is going to work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to have plenty of room for that. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to line this up fairly well. And right about there. Okay, I like it. I like it quite a bit. Yikes. Almost spawned that right on top of us. Okay, so we've got our fuel tank. We've got our vehicle workshop. All of this is looking really good and getting me very excited to get started on this particular map. We've got some storage, we've got our equipment, fuel, the ability to do repairs and upgrades if need be. Uh, so overall, very happy with where things are as we finish our very first video here on the new South American map. Thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned as we will continue our gameplay series 
of Farming Simulator 19.